Hi everyone, and welcome to Apex Instant Tips, episode 142. My name is Michelle. I'm standing in for Anton, who's taking a very well-deserved break this week. And I'm here with Marwa. Hi Marwa, good to see you. Hi Michelle, I'm happy to be here with you today. I thought I would offer some moral support against the, you know, hundreds and thousands of possibly angry listeners of our show. So here I am. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. So, Marwa, do you have a tip for our live viewer audience today? Yes. So, um, today I have a tip about hiding showing items on a form on an Apex page based on another item's values like select list or text type items. So, what do you think on how to implement that? What are your thoughts? Okay, well, obviously, we talked about this tip quickly yesterday. And my first response was, hmm, this doesn't sound like a very exciting tip. I think I would just leverage dynamic actions, I would look for an on change event of the select list. And then based on client side condition, I would hide or show the relevant field. So that was my first um, suggestion. And then I followed up saying, well, I hope you have something maybe a little bit more interesting for the audience. So I'm assuming that there's something, some sort of follow up or a different approach we might take. Yes. So I have a, I have created an application to show this tip. So let me share my screen and let me start by kicking my timer and um, here. Don't, the kick it, don't kick it too hard, Marwa. Sorry, okay. I'm just teasing you. <laughs> Okay. okay. Go ahead. So we have, yeah, we have two interactive reports here. The first one, uh, we have vehicle types, and we added some examples like diesel, electric, gas, and hybrid. And on the second interactive report, we added some examples like the Ford, which has the diesel type, and the Nissan, which has uh, the electric type. Now, if we want to edit this record, we have this form here and we have several uh, Apex page items. And the last one is actually going to change based on the type of the vehicle. So, for example, if now we have cylinder for the diesel type, if I pick another uh, type like electric, the cylinder item disappeared and we have the kilowatt per hour item now for example for uh, the hybrid item uh, the hybrid type we would have both uh, items um so let's take and a look is, at this. this is where i would have said well let's look for kilowatt hours in the vehicle type and hide or chain hide or show the kilowatt hours or the cylinders um exactly right? yeah. yes so here on the page designer, what we have is a dynamic action, but the dynamic action is not on the pop-up LOV on the first item. It's actually on another hidden item, and we, we actually have two hidden items. One is a, The first one is to show cylinders. The second one is to show kilowatt per hour item. The, the dynamic action has a client-side condition. If the item's value is yes, then show the cylinder item. If it is no, then hide that item. And the same thing applies for the second dynamic action. It would show or hide the kilowatt per hour item. Now, maybe you're wondering why did we make this dynamic action on, on these two hidden items? It's because the pop-up LOV it's, it's, is not just returning the ID of the type, it's actually returning more. We have in the additional outputs, hmm. We return the value from the colon show cylinder into this item, the show cylinder item. And same thing for the second hidden item. Now let's take a look at our LOV in the shared component. We, co we can notice that we have additional colon columns that we added to this uh, pop-up LOV. So it is basically um, based on the table vehicle type and in the section of additional display columns, we have first the ID that we return, second mm -hmm. the type which is displayed, and then we have two other columns 
uh, a yes or no columns that we are returning into those hidden items. If we get back to the first report, the vehicle type, we would notice those two columns and we can make them yes or no based on the type that we are adding to our table. So like this is the trick of the tip today. So much better because of course, we're looking at a pretty simple example. So one could almost get away with hard coding because I don't think they necessarily introduce new vehicle types that often. And so the hard, but basically my solution was the equivalent of hard coding. Whereas here it would very easily support the introduction of a new vehicle type. Maybe, I don't know, Rich, you're on. What what would be a new new vehicle type? Well, let's call it solar. And we could say whether or not we want to hide and show. We just add a new vehicle type, but we wouldn't even have to go in and touch anything on our page, change any conditions of the dynamic action. It would just be handled um, automatically. And, and of course, you can imagine all sorts of um, uh, plum and hydrogen, hydrogen power. There you go. That's probably yes. better than more, more reasonable than solar. Um, but thanks for that. Um, so yeah, a lot more resilient to to change. And uh, I'm sure Rich will appreciate that we're also leveraging the value of a fully normalized database and uh, better better data modeling, less code, right, Rich? Um, so this is this is great. And I actually don't know that I was aware of being able to return those additional columns uh, through the LOV. So that's that's uh, a really great feature. Thank you for the tip. Hydrogen, Thank you, Michelle. Yes. Rich, plum, plum and beat you to it, Rich, um, with the hydrogen. Um, great tip. Are there any questions from the... Hey, Omarlini, there you are. Oh, nice. Um, I don't have much of a wisdom of the week this week. Uh, however, I don't know what the uh, calendar is like in Tunisia, but this weekend is Mother's Day. Hey, Anton's here. <laughs> hey, Anton. Hope you're feeling better. Um, so it's Mother's Day here in North America this weekend, and Anton usually suggest that you write a letter to your mom asking her to like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to suggest that you do more than write a letter to your mom. Give her a call. Go visit her. Take her out for lunch. Tell her you love her. Right? Mother's Day? Yes. There we go. And uh, yeah, that's our wisdom of the week. And amazing tip, Marwa. Thank you very, very much. I hope uh, people have learned a thing or two. And we will be back, Anton and Marwa will be back next week. So have a lovely weekend, everyone. Have a great rest of your Friday and see you soon. Thank you. See you soon. Bye. Bye, everyone. Thank you.